So guys, we're starting our approach now. One, three, two, five, zero, two, zero. Um, I seem to have messed up somewhere along the way, uh, so we were just gonna. Guardic Control is E975 uh, with you at uh, flight level 190 um, for arrival at Edinburgh. Oh, 135.520. That's why I got it wrong. Scottish Control, EZ975, uh, flight level 180 um, towards Edinburgh. Scottish Control is a nine seven five. Don't really know what's going on there. So there seems to be an issue I've just noticed. One three five five two zero. Scottish Control is the 975 do you read? Hmm. Very confused. So it should be 525 and that's 524 on here. Which I don't understand why.
Scottish control easy 975D copy Three six zero Ryan Air one twelve Charlie and Vector two two four. Scottish Control EZ975, do you copy? EZ975, Scottish Control, hello, readability 5, descend flight level 80, Edinburgh landing runway 24. Descend flight level 80, and Edinburgh runway 24, EZ975. <laughs> So, we've got all tuned in now, um, obviously you probably heard a bit of that kerfuffle, oh, I couldn't hear anyone, but... Um, and Scottish Centre, a very good evening to you, Ryan Air 198 Foxtrot with you, we're passing 17,500 direct road tab. Ryan Air 198 Foxtrot, Scottish Control, hello, climb flight level 250. Climbing flight level 250, Ryan Air 198 Fox. So, all that, I haven't had time to even look at the ground chart. Which is a bit of a problem. Um, so, what we'll do, we'll look at the ground chat. Here we go, it's not a very difficult airport thing. Good evening, Channel 3212, inbound Boyne and descending to flight level 120. Channel 3212, London Control, sorry, Scottish Control, hello, descend flight level 8, sorry, descend flight level 90. So we had a bit of an issue to start with. Descending liner 0, channel 3212, and can you give me to our arrival runway please? Set up for landing. Uh, Shamrock 3212, the next controller will give you the arriving runway. I believe runway 26 is in use. So. Roger, thank you. So we're going to sign at 198 Foxtrot, route direct Tunso, and it's uh, Tunso 1 Echo arrival. Route direct Tunso and Tunso 1 Echo arrival, Ryanair 198 Fox. Shot at 16 Alpha, clear to land, runway 24, surface wind 26, 0 degrees, 3 knots. Clear to land, runway 24, shuttle 16 Alpha. Left hand to 5 November, Charlie, taxi stand 6. So guys, so basically I've got the auto throttle enabled, the spoilers enabled. And that's it for now. Left hand to 5 November, Charlie, I think that was a broken transmission there, taxi stand 6. From the controller in front of me. So it will be flying the heading that is directed at the moment. And we'll see what happens. Right, one Charlie, Charlie, radar control service, descend flight level 90, maintain speed 220 knots. 220, uh, flight level 90. Easy 975, descent to altitude 5000 feet, Edinburgh QNH 1012, and speed 220 knots. 220 knots, 1012, and 5000 feet. So we're now in manage mode and we've selected the, so every time you put the speed in you need to select what you want it to go to and is it QNH1 to run So I can't remember what the QNH was. Apologies, what was QNH? So he'll now reply what the QNH was and I'll pop it in. So it's 1012. So we come off the standard. One, uh, right there, one Charlie Charlie, do center altitude 6,000 feet, Edinburgh QNH 1012. 1012 QNH descending to 6,000, one Charlie Charlie. So what we're going to do is turn some of the brightness down on it. Get some more of these. Just turn the brightness down so we can actually. Uh, can we just leave the cockpit for just three minutes right now on an eight box? 
Friday at 198 Fox Fox approved report back. Okay. So we're going to go down to 5,000. So we're now following our route in, as you can see, quite nicely. But we're still following a nice route into Edinburgh. So Edinburgh's over to the left hand side somewhere. Oh, you can see there's another. Tramock 3212, contact London Control 133 decimal 7. Bye bye. 133 decimal 7, bye bye. Tramock 3212. Easy 975, descent to altitude 4000 feet. 4,000 feet, easy 975. 2975, I can't remember if I put you on a heading or not. Fly heading 025. Easy 975, fly heading 025. 025, apologies, easy uh, 975. Ryanair 1, Charlie, Charlie, descent to altitude 4,000 feet. Descending 4,000, Ryanair 1, Charlie, Charlie. So we're going to be coming in on the left hand side here with the approach, the airport's a bit further away. Um, as you can see it's stuttering a little bit, um, which it's going to. At the minute. So the airport's over here where my cursor is somewhere. Um, but we're now just basically listening to his instructions and we'll start our speed deceleration as per. So we'll start at left. Shuttle 16 Alpha, taxi stand 7. Taxi stand 7, shuttle 16 Alpha. So, like I said with the stands, the stands are going to be all asked about face when we land. They're going to give me some taxi instructions, however I'm going to... Right now, 1 Charlie, Charlie, turn right, heading 020 zero, zero degrees. And see how we do zero, two, zero, one, Charlie, Charlie. Easy 975, turn left, heading 360 degrees. Left, heading 360 degrees, easy 975. So, left, heading 360. Zero, Start. So we're at 4,000 at the minute. You can see the runway kind of somewhere over this left hand side. Obviously, like I say, the graphics sent down and they look brilliant, mainly just because of everything that's going on. So we've got old Arthur's seat over to the left hand side there somewhere. Can't see it quite at the minute, but it's showing on the radar as we make this left turn. So now we're going to fly straight out and then it'll be a tight left hand turn um, towards the runway and we'll then set the localizer for runway 24 I think it is here, is it two? yeah runway 24 um, I'm just having a quick look at the charts and things, everything's looking all good so, so we've got all the aircraft and stuff and all the stand numbers as well so I've got my surfaces next to me and just some Easy nine seven five speed one eight zero knots, descent to altitude three thousand feet. One eight zero and three thousand feet, easy nine seven five. So we're speed down to one eight zero. Gauge. Right now one Charlie Charlie speed one eight zero knots, turn left heading three six zero degrees. So now this is where we can start our flap selection. Now we're gonna go three three six zero one eight knots. Right now one Charlie Charlie. So we're going to, as you can see, we're at flaps one. So we're going to do a left turn in a minute. Um, he's going to give us an instruction for a left hand turn towards the runway. So the reason why we're flat is just for a bit of separation to other aircraft that you can hear in the vicinity. And we'll see how we get on. So I apologise for the issue with the communication. I don't think it might have been an error between Flight Simulator and the V-Pilot or something's gone wrong. It didn't like that frequency for some weird reason, which I'm not too sure why. But we're basically going to get flying out here, descending to 3000 now. And then what we'll do, we'll press the approach button, which um, activates the ILS. So what we'll do, you see where it says here LS, we're going to turn on ILS information display. So you see here, that brings on the information display. Easy 975, turn left, heading 270 degrees, cleared ILS, runway 24. 270 degrees and uh, ILS 24. So left, heading 270, so you always go to the side that they say. So, so we're going to go 270. And what we have to do when we get established on the localizer, 
when it's all established we will then press the approach button and it will localize beautifully so we can see the runway in sight as you can see over here you can see it beautifully it's looking gleaming as usual obviously it looks a bit different at night it just doesn't uh, compared to in the day and Scottish, that's uh, Ryanair 198 Foxtrot back with you. Ryanair 198 Foxtrot, thanks. Direct Tartan, descend when ready, flight level 200. Is that now establishing? Uh, descend when ready, flight level 200. Ryanair 198 Fox. Uh, Ryanair 198 Foxtrot, route direct Tartan. Apologies, route direct Tartan, Ryanair 198 Fox. Ryanair 1 Charlie, Charlie, turn left heading 340 degrees, descend to altitude 3000 feet. Changing heading to 340, descending to 3000 feet, Ryanair 1 Charlie, Charlie. Easy 975, speed 160 knots or greater until 40 ME, runway 24, clear to land, the wind 260 degrees, 3 knots. Clear to land, runway 24, I'm 160 knots, easy uh, 975. So, speed. The sky ship was an initial descent, uh, flight level 200, right now, 198 Fox. Right now, 198 Fox, relay for. Easy 975, established on the quad path. Easy 975, Roger. So, he said not below 160 to a 4 DME. So, I'm trying to find the DME bit. Uh, where is it? Can't find it now. So, 8 miles, uh, 4 DME, so 4 miles we'll go with. Um, so, we're going to get the gear down. 2500. And we're at 2500. That's a point used. 1 Charlie, Charlie, turn left, heading 270 degrees, cleared ILS from way 24. And now we're, we're, zero 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 so we're just going to glide it down there and it's going to follow it now all the way down to the base. As you can see it's following. So you see these blue boxes and things, uh, sorry, these purple boxes, they should ideally be bang on. Um, it'll be a little bit off. I think mainly this is to do with flight simulator again. I'm not 100% sure, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. I can see the runway. I can make some adjustments at the end. So usually what happens is we will go down to a nice altitude. Uh, probably till about 500 feet, disconnect the autopilot, disconnect the auto throttle, which I have two buttons on my joystick um, selecting that. And basically, when it says retard, you bring the throttles all the way back, and that was so. So, we're going to go flaps three, which is the next step. As you can see on the monitor, it's it tells you what flaps stage we're at. We're going to go flaps three until four DME. So, we're coming up to four DME, so we're going to slow down now to 150. Maybe 147, we'll go somewhere around there. And we're going to input that now, and we're going to flaps full. And now, what you'll hear is the engines will start to rev up, the nose will dip, the engines will start revving up. And the reason for this is because the flaps cause more drag, which means you need more power to keep in the air. So now, this is following the glide path, lovely. We're a little bit off center line. If I have a look at the back, well, not too bad actually. Nothing that a little bit of rudder like this can sort out. One bow, we sort it out at the last minute. So, we'll see how we're looking. So, now that the actual autopilot will actually deal with that. So, it flaps full and everything's looking beautiful except the glide path situation. So what I could do here is I could disconnect and let it follow Right now, one Charlie, Charlie, clear approach number two, no speed restriction. So no speed restriction. What I'm going to have to do is just try a little bit of right-hand movement without disconnecting the auto bottom pilot. So what we'll do actually, we'll, so we'll disconnect the auto pilot. We'll keep the auto throttle going, so a little bit higher, a little bit low. Right now, 198 Foxtrot, descend flight level 80. Descend flight level 80, right now, 198 Fox. So, we'll level the wings. And bring the throttles back. And reverse thrust. No need to brake if you've got the auto throttle engage, uh, auto brake engage, which is what that's doing now. It's all braking for us, beautifully. So now we're off the reverse thrust, back onto normal power, we'll disconnect auto brake and manual braking now. 
So now we'll get some taxi instructions from the um, taxi man, uh, sorry, from the ground controller. Uh, we'll vacate left in a minute in the next taxiway. Get sorted first. Not even too sure where the next taxiway is. So we'll stop here. Easy 975 vacated 24. Easy 975, thanks, taxi stand 8. Stand 8, uh, apologies uh, on the new flight sim, so uh, it might not be very accurate to the standing. If you could give me some instructions, that'd be beautiful. Easy 975, no worries, it's uh, going to be stand 8 by Alpha and Echo and uh, Foxtrot as well. Alpha, Echo, Foxtrot, lovely, thank you. Rhino 1 Charlie, Charlie, clear to land runway 24, the wind 260 degrees, 3 knots. So I'm looking at my flap, it's Alpha, Echo, Foxtrot. So it's going to be in the first apron on the right. Um, it's not going to be perfect. Rhino 198, Foxtrot, fly heading 050 degrees, vectors ILS 24. So what's going to happen now is. Uh, left 050 and vectors for 24, Rhino 198, Fox. So he said Alpha Echo Foxtrot, so it's literally along here, first right, so along this big long apron, past the building. Probably going a little bit quick for this part of this business. So what's going to happen now is just put the APU on. So that's all ready to go when we arrive at the stand. So this is the stand that we want. Apologies for the hot shout breaking. And it's tight left. So we're now at the terminal. So what we'll do we go? I think we'll go this this first one on the right, looking at where other aircraft are. And what we'll do in a minute, we'll disconnect just so we're not interfering with any of his uh, problems, uh, any of his um, aircraft that he's planning on getting sorted. So, like I said, there is a there is some bits here. There you go. So you see here, we've got the man and with the sticks. We can literally follow his instructions. So I know I've stopped a bit suddenly again then. But it's like I said, I'm no expert at this new game. It's all good fun and games, but we'll uh, see how we get on. So now he's saying to indicate straight, or literally taxi straight. And this is good because this comes straight out of the box like this with this. And I've never even had a rigid sex before. It's never worked. So now we'll stop. Parking brakes are on and we will turn engines off. Scottish Troy, Easy 975, thanks for your service and uh, have a good night. Easy 975, thanks for flying, bye bye. So now we'll disconnect from VATSIM. That's all done, dusted, just so we're not interfering with any of this. So, next, what we'll do, part of the tutorial I'm going to do, so you turn the engines off, make sure it's on normal mode, not on start yours. So, they both come off, and so we've got the APU on and available. We don't actually need the APU bleed on for this. So, what we'll do now, we'll turn off all the lights, because the engines are off, the beacon can go off, and the nav and wing and all that sort of stuff can go off. What we'll do, um, oh, they've already even connected the ground power for us, so. When they pull the ground power in, that comes on, and then once the ground power is on, you can actually disconnect the thing. So the basic, the reason why that procedure is in place is obviously you have to get quite close to the engines to do that. So they wait for the engines to stop, and the APU is on because that doesn't really affect them. And then they'll pull the external power in, and then we'll disconnect completely. And to secure the aircraft, we'll say um, what we'll do is we'll literally disconnect the auxiliary power and the batteries. And it's all gone dark, it's all gone off, which is what should happen. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a tutorial with uh, London and ILS approaching the 320. It's obviously, I said it's an easy jet uh, livery which you can get online now. I did find them, some guy's been making loads, I don't know who he is, but some guy's been making loads of liveries and they look stunning and they don't even affect the frame rate to be honest. They 
it runs completely smooth and you'll notice now the game will be a lot smoother purely because of the fact that um, obviously it's a little bit stuffy that's just because of the mouse but it looks beautiful and that is mainly because of the vaccine problem which they are sorting so hopefully in a couple of weeks or well actually I think it's the 27th it's been released the new patches for the flight simulator um, so that should all get sorted so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this uh, video and uh, I shall be making plenty more don't you worry um, give us a, a message in the comments um, very memory whatever um, and see if you want any special videos doing I'll see if I can help you if it, even if it's something like vpilot that you're not sure how to set up or that sim just drop us a message and I'll try and sort it out for you um, once again, thanks very much for watching.